In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how ForcePoint's AP Data Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, technology can be used to detect and prevent sensitive information leaving your organization that is embedded in a scanned PDF or any sort of image file. Specifically in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate this technology against passports. Please keep in mind that OCR is not limited to passports alone. Again, it will detect sensitive information that is contained in scanned PDFs or images. This sensitive information can be based on what is important to your organization or any sort of regulatory and compliance policy that your organization must adhere to. Within the DLP product itself, we have over 1,700 different rules. Uh, that is that are encompassed under various verticals that really cover the entire regulatory and compliance arena. However, you can create your own custom policies incorporating any number of content classifiers that are predefined or customized to fit the needs of your organization, as well as incorporating fingerprinting and machine learning. So the system is very flexible and will meet the needs of your organization. Let's go ahead and get started with some demonstrations. So I'm going to open up my Outlook email here. I have an email ready to go. I have two passport images attached. And before I send it out, I'll let you take a look. So here is an example scanned US passport. This is for testing purposes only. This is not a real passport. And I'm also going to be using a UK passport. And again, this is for testing purposes only. This is not a real passport. So now that I have the images ready to go, I'll go ahead and hit send. From here, the email is obviously going to leave the client, um, go through Exchange, and then from Exchange, it's going to hit my AP email e gateway, which is also a ForcePoint product. This gateway can be deployed physically or virtually, and on board that gateway contains a DLP engine that will inspect emails as well as attachments. The DLP engine is going to detect that either a scanned PDF or image is contained in that email and it's going to send it over to the OCR server which resides on the Windows server. OCR will then extract any text found within the scanned PDF or image file and if any of that data or content triggers a DLP policy, um, the appropriate action will take place. My current posture for this policy is to allow the action, but to audit it as we can see here. So right now I'm in the incident dashboard, and you see the source of the email, which was CEO, um, the various policies that were triggered. The channel was network email. Um, the destination was the destination email address, and then severity and action are what you want them to be, from high, medium, low. And then the actions could be anything from permit block to confirm to encrypt. Uh, to quarantine. And then we can see here in the middle the two attachments which were in that email and then on the left side any of the rules that were triggered um, within that content. So we have a combination of keywords as well as some regexes that were triggered based on these two passport images. I'm going to return back to my client and I'm going to go to an internet session. So I have a Gmail session here which is an SSL session. Just like AP email, um, we have a AP web product which is also under the ForcePoint umbrella. The web product is a full-blown proxy appliance that again can be deployed physically or virtually and that is a critical element when it comes to web sessions is that proxy as it has the ability to crack open the SSL session which is what Gmail is writing right now. So without that capability um, we could not see the content within the transaction. So this upload right now the gateway is receiving that transaction opening up the session inspecting the content. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also attach the UK passport. Same thing, the gateway is going to open up that transaction, inspect the content. And just like the email gateway, there is an onboard DLP engine that will identify the files, inspect them, and then offload it over to the OCR server once it detects that it is an image or scanned PDF. So, as you can see, we have two separate transactions because there were two separate um, uploads of the images. So. The last one I did was UK Passport, and we can see that with that image was retained, and the regex that was triggered 
by this image. And then the second transaction is the US passport. And again, it's a combination of keywords as well as regex is looking for number combinations. Whenever there is a DLP incident triggered, um, if there is an attachment involved, a screenshot, or let's say you're trying to print out a document, we are actually going to retain that actual document or file. Or if it's just a clear text transaction, we'll record all of that data. That, that was a part of the transaction. So you'll have full visibility into what exactly was occurring and what data was um, in play within the event. So one last demonstration here. I'm going to go to my testing Facebook account. I'll go ahead and attach the UK passport. And then I'll also attach the American US passport. So there are multiple policies around passports in our system for multiple countries. So you're not just limited to US or UK. I'm just doing that for demonstration purposes today. I'll refresh on here and we see two transactions of Facebook were, was logged. One is, or actually the first was the US passport. Same information was caught for the US passport and the same for the UK passport. For more information on OCR, please visit one of the links in the description section of this video. And there is also another link to another OCR demonstration I performed uh, a few months ago. So feel free to take a look at that. Thank you.